Now, today you guys are also announcing a new partnership yeah. with Wheels Up. Tell me a little bit about how this is going to work out for your frequent flyers, especially those at the very high end who may be somebody who could benefit from perhaps going with Wheels Up for a, uh, a certain trip. Yeah, we're excited to do the deal with Kenny and the Wheels Up team. Uh, we're essentially going to be merging our Delta private jets into the Wheels Up platform and we'll come away as an equity investor and, and owner in the new company. It's a way for us to extend our, our brand and extend our ability into a new space. We're not going to have it stuck as DPJ is kind of under Mother Delta. It's going to be alongside Delta so that we can actually enjoy the benefits and kind of have a lot more transparency and growth opportunities for both brands. Kenny's team's done a great job of building what I call the democratization of private aviation. It will be one of the largest, if not the largest, private aviation fleets out there, almost 200 airplanes that we've both owned and managed. And uh, we think there's a, there's a great opportunity to make private air travel more affordable, more accessible. How will that work out for um, a Diamond Elite member who says, hey, look, I have a particular trip coming up. Will you guys then say, here's an opportunity with wheels up? How will that work out? Well, we're going we're gonna to offer opportunities for all of our, our, our strong uh, customers to be wheels up members in one of their membership programs. And thus, they'll have access to, to that fleet of airplanes that we have. And they'll be able to interchange, you know, whatever size aircraft they need, whether it's in the in the King Air Fleet or a Delta, you know, 737-900. You know, we're going to be able to go back and forth and, and interchange. It's going to be very exciting. Andrew, I know you have a question. Ed, I actually have two, two questions. One on wheels up, because I know we're going to be talking to Kenny Dichter in, in just a little bit, but this idea about democratizing private air travel, how low do you think you can ever really get the price? Well, the goal is to continue to drive, drive affordability. Uh, one of the things that's most exciting to me about the platform is the digital uh, platform that they're creating, so it's going to be a more open source model. Uh, one of the challenges of private aviation always is your ability to kind of utilize the fleet and, and close out those open legs, you know, the repositioning of aircraft. So we're going to, that, the, the open source platform, I think, in itself is going to create more right. affordable it, options with, for with consumers.